have you ever killed anybody? No. No, I haven't. I just wish you knew what it felt like. The nightmares. The pain. I just wish someone knew how it felt. But if you do not want for his forgiveness, why are you telling me all of this? Why? Because I just need to get this off my chest. I just wanted somebody to know. I don't want to take this to my grave. Wait, to your grave? Is somebody trying to kill you? No. No, wait! <laughs> Am I? So let's get down to brass tacks. How was Percival offset? Was he as macho and as level-headed as he appeared on the show? Percival's always known for being a tough guy on and off the set. Um, but we all knew that he was gentle with me and so many others. Ah, so you're saying there were others? Yeah, there was. Um, uh, Percival believed that everybody had a, a reason to exist. He was always giving people a chance, uh, whether it be to collect his lunch or to follow him through a care, uh, haunted care home in uh, Bradford. He was the 52 megabyte fiber optic broadband of the spirit realm and the iPhone 7 of enthusiastic lovers. So how did... And, uh, well, he had a little trouble maintaining the signal towards the end. This by far is the worst spiritual wonder I have been on. Not only have I lost Jake, but I have lost my wallet, my wallet. Jake, have you got my wallet? Okay, I'm, I'm going to take that as a no. Jake has been taken by the destitute spirits of Didcut, an ancient nunce burned at the stakes in these very woods. Now. Laura, can you hear me? Laura, I'm, I'm worried about you, and I don't mean to intrude, but it wouldn't have done you some good to have gone to the funeral. Laura, can you hear me? to four years this summer and then strike from school. So. I've been uh, working like eight years now. Coming up, uh, clo closing eight years now. It also shares the same space with the Birmingham Museum and Art Gallery. The Art Gallery is the largest independent museum trust in the UK and it's noted for its wide array of pictures dating as far back as the 14th century. Another iconic Birmingham building is the Bullring Shopping Centre. The Bullring is one of the largest shopping centres in Europe and has been one of the most frequented markets since the 12th century. Many historical figures have hailed from Birmingham such as J.R.R. Tolkien, the author of the Lord of the Rings and Hobbit series of books, and John Cadbury, the founder of Cadbury Chocolate and creator of the Bourneville area. Another notable area of Birmingham is Digbeth. Digbeth was of great importance during the 18th and 19th century due to its easy access to the canals to transport goods and the access to the railway via Moorsfield.